Uh, hey guys, in the other video I showed you how to uh, hook uh, on these trailers. So if you don't have like a, a kid's scooter frame like this and a shock absorber, this is one way to get three dimension of movement. Uh, and also it keeps it above your rear tire automatically because the way it's designed, right? Uh, but there, there's better ways because uh, you're going to get a kind of a play at the end here depending how you do it. Uh, in the other video I showed for this bike, two different ways you can use scooter parts. But if you don't have that, I'm going to show you in a second how you can do it. But th in the other video I showed with the scooter parts, two different ways. So one arm is like right here. And uh, I show how to do that in the other video. And also using this setup with a shock absorber right here, a stem. And I also showed in a, a different video using something like this, where you just connect with quick release to your seat post and just use a, a, a this is a very strong piece of steel uh, that you can use to hook onto a some kind of trailer you're gonna make, right? But but this uh, blue one right here, that's only 20 pounds. That's a very good uh, weight because the tubular steel is very strong but very light. Uh, this one I modified heavily, so that's gonna be another video how I made this. But this is 50 pounds. You want this is not recommended. You would need a, a dolly. Uh, like what I got right here, it's some kind of a, a dolly I built. That way you can hook onto here and none of the weight's gonna go on your bike. So that's a, in another video. But right now what I'm gonna show you, because what you're gonna get, you're gonna get 15 pound of weight just from an empty trailer. That, that's, that's not a good idea. But this is just for demonstration I have on here. So what you can do is all I'm doing here, this is just a mock-up. Uh, you wanna uh, drill this hole as close so that uh, to your uh, seat post so that way there's a uh, minimal play and you can build yourself something like this uh, this is from a weightlifting set so this is for the bicep curl it's a universal joint so there's a bolt in there but you can make your own just a more lighter this is kind of a heavy duty and bend the steel around or find a square bar and cut off the other end that way you can put it around your seat post and you're gonna have a rotation when you're turning left and right and and then for your roll that's what the bolt is for. You're going to put your own bolt and put it up tight against the seat post. Better like what they're using here is a an Allen kind of bolt with a flat head. So uh, maybe uh, try to find something like that. That way it goes snug against your seat post but with a bit of play so you can still turn. And then what, I, what, what you got is make another one, bolt it on and now you have your pivot. That's going to act like a pivot and uh, if you do it uh, tight to your uh, connector you're not gonna have any place so this is a uh, very rigid or you can do what I have here this is uh, what you don't want you don't want a movement here and over there it's not necessary uh, but this is just a demonstration so I'm using just a caster of a shopping cart and I took out the bearings because they, they were binding so I just cut that out it'll still work like that very good um, so uh, the, 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 the trick the trickiest part is to try to make it so it doesn't hit your wheel uh, so, so you got to put it up high enough on your seat post and design it in such a way that it moves your, your trailer away from the wheel. So that's a very good way to do it. Uh, haven't tested that. I'm going to make videos when I actually uh, finish these trailers. But So this is all th three dimensions of movement also. Left to right, up and down, and a roll with, with the, either, either, either doing it like this or a shopping cart. Uh, so that's a better way because uh, a lot of people they're telling you hook the trailer to the bike frame That's a very bad idea uh, For many reasons first of all uh, your trailer cannot turn 360 degrees like this It can you can go in circles and see your own trailer in front of you if you do it long enough um, Also when you hook it to the back, it's really a, there's not enough space there to hook it. It's not going to be dynamically in the middle of the bike. That's going to be on the side of the bike. That's that's a bad idea. And also, uh, most of them are using a spring. That That is totally uh, a bad idea because the spring is a spring. It's not a, a universal joint. So uh, also, when you have it connected to, to the, 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 bo the back there, the back axle, all the weight is being forced down on this point because the trailer has to be more lower. So in this position, the load is brought back to the back wheels because of the angle. So with that kind of setup, you're gonna have to have it lower, like lower to the ground, which is good for low center of gravity. But uh, with this kind of setup, 
you're putting the load in the middle of the bike so it's spreading to the front the weight to the front axle that's what you want so that way when you load this up uh, it's not going to be all on your back bearings and your back axle so so this kind of setup that's putting two pounds I weighed it onto this point right here that's two pounds so uh, like like I said this one is 15 pounds the way I have it set up because I put the wheels way back here and the trailer weighs 50 pounds so th this is kind of a bad design for if you're just hooking to your bike um, you want a very little amount of weight here because you're sitting already here so um, uh, so when I finish this, I'm going to make videos of me riding uh, with these trailers. Okay, guys, have a nice day. Thanks for watching.